Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick, here with another Make It Monday. <laughs> How are you today, my friends? I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Let me just take a moment to check and make sure that I am live and that all is well with me here make sure that i'm not freezing up or anything like that all right welcome everybody so if you can hear me and see me and everything is well would you give me a thumbs up or give me a heart i would really appreciate that and uh, i would love for you to share my live on your page because that uh, lets everybody else know that i am on live and it shares my business which i really appreciate hi miss mary hi kelly how are you gals oh i see folks are here thank you so much for coming all right so i'm uh I'm trying something different with my live this evening and hopefully um, hopefully we won't have any issues with the signal or connection or whatever it is. So this is going to be a trial run um, to see if it goes well. So um, I'm in a different location which means that if a car goes by you may actually hear if there's a loud truck. Um, but we should be okay, I think, for the most part. Ha, uh, let's see. Um, good, Mary. I'm so glad that you're doing good. All right, so there are folks coming in. We're chatting. I've got the video up on my computer, so it looks like everything is going well for us. Yay, I'm so excited. Hi, Miss Sharon. How are you, darling? Okay, so this week, um, I had wonderful surprise from some of my Stampin' friends, um, and it just made me realize, or not just realize, but remember how much I absolutely love Stampin' Up! and, uh, and all of the things that it brings to the table. So I have wonderful, wonderful friends that I've met through Stampin' Up! and I just am so blessed to have them and so thankful for them. And a handful of the girls really, really did a great thing for me this week, and I just love them for it. So thank you all so very much. Um, and while I'm talking about that, uh, I want to share with you an event that's going to be coming up on the 13th of September. Today is the last day to sign up for it, and you don't have to be local to me to participate um, because I do the class to go as well. So I'm going to share that one with you right quick, and then we'll get to our project. Okay, so the, um, the event is called the Rustic Harvest Class to go and we'll be doing eight beautiful cards and we're using the rustic harvest suite we'll use the hello harvest stamp and die bundle we'll be using um, the rustic harvest designer series paper linen thread and these really pretty um, leaf labels and amber um, gems they're so cute and uh, I have some absolutely gorgeous projects that I've created with these that I know you guys are all gonna just love and uh, I have one of them here with me to share with you now this is just one of the projects um, I'm not gonna give the class away and I don't normally share uh, I don't normally share a sneak peek of projects, but I'm going to this evening. So this is one of the cards that we'll be making in this class. Hey, Naomi, thanks for coming. How are ya? This card is absolutely gorgeous and you know, it looks more difficult than it, than it is. It's actually very simple to do. Um, I had done a class with one of my downline 
and she had this gorgeous card that had this technique on it and I thought it was just beautiful. So I borrowed the technique from her project and made it this fall themed. And uh, this is an embossing folder that we have. So when you sign up for this class, uh, you'll get all of the supplies you need to make two each of four different designs of cards. So you'll end up with eight cards all together. Um, and so you'll get all of the pieces for this card and this piece of cardstock will already be embossed for you so you don't have to worry about not having that embossing folder which is wonderful you know because we don't all have everything and and it's wonderful when we can have some of these things already done for us right <laughs> so anyway uh, i really like this one i think it's absolutely beautiful and of course i am so ready for pumpkin season to get here i don't know about you <laughs> and then you guys all know if you've been around and watched my videos long enough i always say no naked insides and no naked envelopes and so, of course, that is going to be true for every one of the cards that are designed for this class. So, tonight is the deadline to sign up for this class, and here's how you do it. You head over to my events tab on this page, so the Stampin' Chick Dana Sullivan Facebook page, and you click events, and near the top of the events list should be the Rustic Harvest class to go. Hi, Miss Elaine. How's it going? Um, you can find the class listed there and it will tell you in the description how to sign up for the class. Um, basically, you're just going to click going on the event and then in the description it tells you the different ways that you can pay for the class. So the class is $45. It includes a whole package of the designer series paper. It includes the package of the labels and gems and a package of the linen thread. And it also includes eight project kits. So it includes all of the supplies that you'll need for the cards. Now you will need the inks and you will need to have the stamp set. If you don't already have it, uh, you can reach out to me and you can add those onto your order and I can have them sent to you at the same time as your kit. So I can get you hooked up. And of course, the fall cards, absolutely gorgeous. And the stamp set, usable over and over and over again. And it's absolutely beautiful. Plus, I'm hoping to have a good variety of additional projects that I can show you um, that'll give you more inspiration and ideas for using your Hello Harvest stamp set, okay? So anyway, if you would like to take part in that class, you can visit my events tab, look for the Rustic Harvest class to go, or it's Rustic Harvest product-based class, sorry, and uh, sign up for the class that way. And remember, you need to do it um, tonight because the sign up ends tonight and I have to get the products ordered so that they will be here in time. Okay. So I would love to have you join me for that class. It's going to be a lot of fun and you'll have plenty of product left over as well. So, uh, it's worth the money for sure. Okay. And then I have something else to share with you, a little fun thing that I got in the mail and I'm super excited about it. Um, many of you know that I've been working my tail off this year to earn the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. And uh, I haven't earned it yet, but I'm getting closer and closer and closer. So of course, uh, if you'd like to help me get to Norway, um, certainly taking part in that Rustic Harvest class helps immensely. And you get a wonderful class in the process. But this is my fifth year with Stampin' Up. I celebrated my anniversary on uh, July 19th, so last month, and I received this beautiful box in the mail, and inside is a super sweet pin that says five for Stampin' Up's anniversary, and on the little note, congratulations on your Stampin' Up anniversary. Wear this pin proudly. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute, and I can't wait to have one that's got the little diamonds on there with it. Mm, that one comes with the big sails, which I am happily working on. 
Yes, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> anyway, I just love that Stampin' Up! is so good and they acknowledge and recognize their demonstrators all the time. It's so much fun. And a whole bunch of the leaders just went to New Orleans uh, this past weekend and got to do all kinds of fun things. They even got their very own parade to walk downtown with everybody watching and a band playing, watch, walking them down the street. It was so cool. I didn't get to go, but I got to see all the videos and pictures and it was so much fun. So anyway, uh, I love the business. I love the company. They do so much for us. And let's face it, their products are just absolutely phenomenal, right? Okay. So now that I've done all of that stuff, let me go on to talk about tonight's project, okay? Oh, that's your birthday, Mary? That's awesome. Well, happy belated birthday. <laughs> okay, today's project is going to be part of the Stampers Showcase Blog Hop. This is the last Monday of the month, so you know I do the Stampers Showcase Blog Hop the last Monday of each month, and it's a lot of fun because there are some incredible designers that get together, and they all do a different project, and they share them with us so that we can put them uh, in an assembly line for a blog hop. So if you head over to thestampinchick.com, you will see today's blog post, which will be this project here. And down towards the bottom of the post, you'll see a list of the other designers. You can click next blog, next blog, next blog. It will take you to each of the blogs individually, and you'll be able to see the projects that they've designed for you as well. And they are so stinking cute. I love it. Hi, Miss Dolly. How are you? Miss Dolly and I just talked the other day. <laughs> she made my heart so happy. She called me up and she had been watching one of my YouTube videos. I thought that was the greatest compliment ever. <laughs> okay, so uh, this month's theme is all about the celebration catalog, okay? The celebration brochure. So everything in here is totally free with a qualifying purchase, either $50 or $100. And uh, my project is actually using two. It's using the amazing phrasing stamp set, which you can get free with a $100 purchase. And then it's also using the perfect pomegranate host set, which you get free on top of all of the other free stuff, on top of stampin' rewards and everything else for celebration when you have a qualifying party or personal order. So super fun. And this stamp set, I actually did, um, I did a project with you guys not too long ago. And uh, let me grab the stamp set. I used the flowers instead of the pomegranates themselves. So um, you'll want to go back and find that one so you can see some different ways to use this stamp set. So, so cute and versatile. Love it. And then the amazing phrasing. This one's a lot of fun because this one has some really fun little phrases that you don't normally see on a Hallmark card, right? <laughs> They're so cute. Like, oops, so sorry, or oops, I'm the worst. Hey, to you too. <laughs> Woohoo. So super cute, lots of fun. Um, to another year around the sun, it's going to be amazing. Hey, you've got this. You're doing amazing. Woohoo! Good looking. <laughs> Maybe that one wouldn't necessarily go together, but as I'm seeing Tinker Tom across the room, that's fun. <laughs> I'm going to get myself all kinds of choked up here. <laughs> as he's trying not to listen to me so he doesn't laugh out loud. <laughs> He's looking at me with a look like, don't, don't diss me. Don't get me involved in this business. Okay. All right. I'm getting off track here. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm a little out of my element and not in my usual place. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the card project, shall we? Here's what you're going to need. You will need uh, those stamp sets, obviously. Uh, you'll need... Thick vanilla cardstock. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and that makes your card base, as you can see. And I'll give it a nice crisp little crease right there. 
All right. And then you're gonna need a piece of four and an eighth by five and three eighths of rich Razzleberry cardstock. This one's gonna go right on top of the front. And then a four by five and a quarter inch piece of vanilla cardstock that we will layer on here once we get our stamping done, okay? Uh, Elaine says it's frozen. I haven't seen it freeze. Has anyone else seen it freeze? Um, let me know, and I'm gonna keep going. Um, Elaine, if it keeps freezing, uh, if no one else sees it, then close out and come back in. It actually looks like it's doing really good on my end, but um, Mary says no. Okay, Elaine, um, it may be frozen on your end this time, so um, if it stays frozen, go ahead and close out and come back in. Okay, all right, I'm gonna keep going. I have my vanilla envelope here, and then I have just a scrap of vanilla cardstock that I'm gonna be stamping and fussy cutting the little pomegranates out of, okay? Now, these are photopolymer stamps, so I'm gonna be bringing in my pierce mat. Um, if you don't have a pierce mat, you don't have to have a pierce mat. You can actually just use um, a catalog, a magazine, a phone book, or whatever. You just want some kind of a, a semi-firm cushion so that you get a good clean image. So let me set this stuff aside. And I'm gonna start with this little piece right here. And I have my little pomegranates. We're gonna use uh, Rich Razzleberry and Pear Pizzazz inks. So this will be great, and they're really pretty. One of the things that I absolutely love about Stampin' Up's products is that their colors coordinate perfectly. So Rich Razzleberry ink matches the Rich Razzleberry paper beautifully. If there were Rich Razzleberry ribbon, that would match as well. Uh, we have markers, and they match perfectly. I mean, everything is matchy-matchy, and I love that. All right, now... When you stamp, tap, 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 not smush, 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 okay? So you want to just tap nice and easy on the ink pad. Don't press it down too much. Don't rock and roll it. Don't squish it down in there. You want just a nice, even coverage of ink and then a firm, even press on the cardstock, okay? Now I like to hold it there for just a second to let the ink settle into the paper. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the little um, seeds for the pomegranates. So again, tap, 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 not smush, smush, smush. And try to line this up without getting my head in the way. Not too bad. Okay, now I'm going to change over to the white layer, or the vanilla layer here. And we'll do the... Um, We'll do the front layer of that, which is this here and the sentiment. And then we'll also stamp the inside and the envelope. So we'll get all of our stamping out of the way. Uh, that way it has just a second to dry and we won't smear it, okay? Let me grab my pear pizzazz ink here. Got that, and I've got the little sprig here. I love this. This stamp set is what we call distinctive stamping, and uh, that means that it has all of the highlight and the shadows all in one stamp. So you notice when I stamped it, there's some darker sections and some lighter sections, and that's where the shading and the highlighting is, and it's all done all at the same time with that one stamped image, which is so stinking cool. I love it. It is one of my favorite, favorite things about these stamps. Okay, now I'm gonna take the amazing stamp from Amazing Phrasing, and you are, oops, hold on here. You are, so we're gonna say you are amazing. And I'm gonna use both of the colors just to tie it into the theme here. So I wanna put amazing just a little bit. Let me see if I can lean over here just a little. And right about there, give it a nice even press and lift off. See, isn't that great? And then you are. 
and we'll put that over here just a little bit press and lift fabulous okay now let me set this aside and bring in the card base and the envelope so we'll do the inside of the card and the envelope the same way and i really like doing that because then i don't have to worry about uh, designing something different for each one you can see it's basically the exact same thing it's just stamped slightly different so um, it doesn't even really stamp different it just looks like it is so let me get that out of the way here and what i'm gonna do is take my leaf sprig here stamp 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 okay and then i'm paying attention to the stem there i want it to be off my paper because if i did it like this then what the heck is it hanging on to right it's just floating in midair which is weird so <laughs> you know you just want to kind of keep an eye on things like that so we'll hang it off the edge just a little bit and it's okay that we lose some of the leaves there i don't mind that because it leaves more space for me to write a note right okay so i'll set that aside and then i'm gonna bring in the pomegranates and the rich razzleberry and y'all you're gonna have to keep me clean on this don't let me dip my uh pomegranates in the pear pizzazz because that would not be fun <laughs> okay and i'm just lining them up with the edges of that stem just like so and then let me grab the seeds right quick put them over the top here i'm getting a little bit of a glare on my block so not too shabby okay now i'm going to set this one aside so that it can dry and i'll do the same things with the envelopes so let me grab the stem i'm trying to be conscious about moving the ink pad totally out of the way <laughs> okay and i'll move this one just like so okay and i'm just going to turn it around and just a little bit let's see i want to borrow this and basically just because i'm kind of anal and i don't want the ink to go over onto the other onto the other side it could and it wouldn't hurt a single thing but i like the idea of it being a clean edge okay so now that i have that let me move that one out of the way bring the rich razzleberry back in and again with my little pomegranates here one and i don't think i inked that first one up good enough and two there we go okay and then the seeds there and there beautiful all right now let me close these up before i get them everywhere because that's another thing isn't it <laughs> okay here we go hi miss amy how are you all right now then let me move that out of the way okay we have the envelope already stamped and it can go out of the way we have the inside of the card stamped and set aside so that it can dry as well we have the front panel stamped and ready for us and then we have of course the rich razzleberry layer now while those are all drying I'm going to take my snips and that first image that we stamped, you remember this, and we're going to just fussy cut around it, okay? So fussy cutting just means that you're cutting it out by hand. Think about elementary school craft section. What are you, are you crying? You said fussy. Oh, <laughs> He's, he's making it look like he's crying, and he says fussy. <laughs> Not quite that fussy, though. <laughs> no, just, you know, elementary school craft sessions where you're just cutting around the images. And I like to leave a little bit of a border simply because uh, that helps my cutting look more clean. So I don't have to have a steady hand with this because... Uh, by leaving that little bit of a border, it makes it a bit more forgiving 
and um, so I don't have to be exact I don't have to be super detailed with it and um, and I don't have to fuss too much even though it's called fussy cutting <laughs> all right and we'll do this and another thing you may notice is that I'm turning the paper more so than the scissors that just helps me get a good straight cut and I like that as well. Now, of course, I'm, I'm moving the scissors just a little bit, but most of it is coming through from turning the paper. All right, and just like that, okay? Let me get this out of the way. And I think everything is good to be assembled now. So I'll bring in my card base. Let me crease that down one more time like a good crisp edge on our card. Okay, I'm gonna take some Stampin' Seal and attach the rich Razzleberry layer directly to the front of the card. Now, of course, I'm double checking it to make sure that it's open the right direction. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, Mary says, a friend of mine calls it cussy cutting. <laughs> You know, it can be sometimes, depending on how detailed it is, huh? Amy loves fussy cutting. Yeah, you are crazy. I don't mind some of the stuff like this, you know, the basic lines and very simple cutting. I, I really enjoy that. But if it's really detailed, then, ew, it stinks very much badly. So I don't like that. Okay, I have approximately 20 inches of the soft seafoam seam binding ribbon. Yes, I'm saying that slowly so that I don't mess it up. Uh, <laughs> however, approximately 20 inches here. And I'm going to tie it around this vanilla layer before I attach it to the card, okay? Because I want it to go all the way around here. So what I want to do is tie it into a pretty little bow over here on the right-hand side. So I will take this, and as I've mentioned in some of my videos before, I like to pull it a little more snug so it bows the paper just a tiny bit, and that helps me get a good tight bow uh, once I have it tied, because right about this point here, is where you end up losing some tension, right? I don't know if you do or if it's just me, but I generally do. And so if I don't have it tighter to begin with, then it's too loose and it's floppy and I definitely don't like that. So I like to tighten it just a little bit extra so that when I'm adjusting and finagling my bow, it is just the right amount of tight, okay? So I hope that made sense. <laughs> All right, now that I've got that, let me get my adhesive here, and I'm gonna slide my bow down just a little bit because I wanna make sure I've got room for my pomegranates there. So that looks about right. I'll take some adhesive, and I'm gonna go right over the top of that ribbon so that it'll help kind of hold it down. That's not necessary, that's just a me thing. And we'll put some there and there. Okay, once again, checking to make sure that my card is facing upright and I haven't turned it in some weird way. And attaching this layer just like so. All right, very nice. Okay, now I can trim up my ribbon a little bit so it's a little prettier. Come here. Just like that, looks good. Okay, now then, we need some dimensionals to put our pomegranates on with. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of my dimensionals here. Give them a quick press and pull the backing off. And then stick them. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold this up a tiny bit. It's either stay out of the camera or get them straight. There's no, no two ways. Okay, there we go. Very nice. All right, now then, I like a little bling on a card. I don't know about you. So I have some beautiful rhinestone basic jewels here. And 
I'm going to take a few of them and just add them all over the place. <laughs> Remember the rule of odds. So three, five, seven, nine are generally more appealing to the eye. So I like to stick with that rule, um, whether I do a little or a lot of the little gemstones. <laughs> all right, now if I can get you to do what I want. There we go. All right, there it is. Hey, Miss Luann. Hey, Miss Amelia. Yeah, it has been a while. Girl, I haven't seen you. How have you been? Okay, so there is our card. And of course, it has a beautifully matched envelope. I absolutely love it. I think it is a pretty card. I can't wait to send these out to people. Lots and lots of fun. Okay, now don't forget to head over to my blog to see the other Stamper Showcase uh, projects that are on there. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing good. Miss Luann, you like to fussy cut too? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I have um, Celebration and all the things. So Celebration ends the end of this month. So there's only a few more days left. If you'd like to take advantage of getting any of the Celebration items for free, there are some really cute ones like the little hippos are absolutely stinking darling. I love them. In fact, I did a card uh, not too long ago that was probably one of my absolute favorite cards. I love it. And then there's some beautiful paper that coordinates with products in the holiday catalog. Unfortunately, these cards and envelopes are already sold out, but um, the stamps are still available. This paper is gorgeous, and you can see on this picture here, that's this polka dotted paper that they've applied color to, which is just fantastic. I love that. <laughs> and the amazing phrasing stamp set is the one we use tonight. And then, unfortunately, those dies are already sold out as well. So the two items are sold out. Um, the Wonderful World, you get a stamp set and a beautiful designer series paper, which is absolutely beautiful. It's so pretty. And then the Perfect Pomegranate stamp set, which I also used tonight. So it was a lot of fun. Okay, let me take a look and see if I have missed anybody. I try to keep up with it as it goes, but sometimes things go go a little fast. I love that cussy cutting thing. I can completely understand sometimes. <laughs> okay, so now ladies, I have to know, did, um, did today's live go better than... Um, than the usual weeks. I noticed that it didn't seem like I froze up or anything, so I thought that was great. Um, I'm actually not down in my studio right now where I normally do my live. Um, I wasn't sure if it was my phone that was the issue because I do my lives on my phone or if it was um, a connection issue, which I thought it probably was. Um, our internet is a little bit wonky at our house, so um, I'm not there either. So um, the internet that I'm on right now is the internet that I keep hoping and praying to get to our house very soon. <laughs> so I'm eager to hear how the connection is um, this evening. So, so leave me a comment and let me know. Um, anyway, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more posts from me in the next several days, in the next couple of weeks, because um, I, as I had said, I am really, really close to earning the incentive trip. I've never been on one of these trips before, and uh, I've never been out of the country. I've never been on a cruise. This will be a first for so many reasons. And, um, and it's to Norway, which is, um, my family heritage is in that Scandinavian area. So, um, I'm really, really excited about it and working so hard to earn the trip. So if there's anything that I can get for you, if I can put together a kit 
or if you'd like to join in one of my classes, most all of my classes are uh, available as a class to go. You just pay extra shipping to get it to your house. Um, we have some incredible all-inclusive kits, which I don't have one with me, but uh, we have some really, really pretty all-inclusive kits that are great for beginners uh, or for those who have no stamping or crafting experience whatsoever. They come with absolutely everything, stamps, ink, everything and you can make gorgeous projects and feel like a pro too so they're a lot of fun anyway if i can help you out with any of those things please don't hesitate to let me know and uh, if you have any questions about today's project you can send me a message or give me a call and you can head over to my blog um, thestampmanchick.com and find the supply list as well as the measurements and everything else okay Thank you all so very much for hanging out with me this evening. I really appreciate you guys. I really enjoy this and I am so, so happy that you guys seem to enjoy it too and that you're here with me. It makes it so much fun to stamp with friends. So thank you again and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Until next time, my friends, bye for now.